Hi, I'm Maureen White, and I live here in Helena, Montana. I'm a retired um, art teacher, and I have come to pursue my life in art. And when you look around at some of the things that I do, there's a wide variety, and I've tried really hard to get it down to one kind of medium, but I think that's impossible for the um, retired art teacher, because <laughs> I love to explore all kinds of different media. What I thought I would show you today, and uh, hopefully I will have a chance to show others as they come on the Helena studio tour, is how I make one of my bird cutouts. This wood is um, birch plywood, uh, about a half an inch thick, and this is a, a beautiful little rufous hummingbird. And I usually start my bird cutouts with a pattern. I draw all my patterns on paper. And then I do what I used to tell the children, a magic trick. I take charcoal and rub all over the back of it, of my pattern, and then I can lay it down onto the, um, onto the wood. And then all I have to do is draw over my pattern. And um, I think the reason I've gotten interested in birds is because when I was a, a fifth grade homeroom teacher, one of our science units was on birds. And uh, children love to learn about wildlife, and birds are just so wonderful. And each species has uh, different characteristics, and it really is fun to learn about them. You can see uh, hummingbirds here in, in Helena during the summer and the spring. And the birds that I make, I try to make the ones that do uh, appear in Helena. Uh, and so the rufous can often be found at your hummingbird feeder or around a sweet flower in the garden. All right, so I have my pattern drawn on the board, and I'm just going to come over here to my saw. Now this saw is a, is a special saw. It's called a scroll saw, and the blades to it are very, very thin. And because they're thin, they have the ability to cut the figure and leave very little of a rough edge on the cut, which uh, I really like because then I don't have to sand. <laughs> uh, so one of the things I like about this saw is that it really doesn't make any more noise than a sewing machine. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, I never get tired of cutting out a figure, so it's just fun to play with it. After a while, after you do this for quite a while, you know you. You find a lot of freedom, and sometimes I pay attention to the lines, and sometimes I don't. But here we go. You can control the speed on this and how fast you want it to, uh, to cut. blower here that blows the uh, dust away, which is really nice because it helps me see the line.
go. We have our, <laughs> our Rufus uh, hummingbird. It could also be a calliope hummingbird, which is the other species that um, comes into Helena to the um, bird feeders. So.